this is your indoor authorization terminal, also known as the IAT. Currently, we are the store is closed and we are currently not logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as my user. Here you can actually log in up to nine different users to use the software and hardware. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my PIN number to log in. Once I am logged in, I can go ahead and open or close the store. And these are some of the pumps I decided to not authorize. And here's some of the pumps that I um, have set for myself to authorize pumps. You have your silence. You have your ability to change the fuel price. You have your setup. This is where you can check out your previous transactions. And this is your fuel allen terminal. Uh, currently, this one is red, indicating that this one is online or offline. Currently, right now, it is offline. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to change the price of your fuels. You have two different fuel types. Uh, right now I have unleaded and premium, and I can set them uh, 50 cents or less in changes, because that's what my preset is set for. So I'm going to edit unleaded, and I can change my price to $1.25 per gallon. I'm going to save that. Once that is done, it will tell me that it successfully has changed. And yes, to confirm, and this sends the price out to, uh, to the pumps. Once that's done, if you ever wanted to print out your previous transactions, you can check out your previous transactions, and you'd have a list here, and this is where you can use your up and down um, arrow functions to go and select which receipt that you wanted to print out, and then you can print that receipt here. Currently, mine is grayed out because it's uh, not connected at the moment. Bring your back self to the home screen. If there was a sound indicating that somebody was outside on the pumps, you can lift the handle. Where they would lift the handle, you get a yellow indication, plus you'll get a sound. If you want to silence that, you can just press the silence button, and that will silence the sound or the alarm. And then if I wanted to uh, open or close the store, you just hit close store and everything would come offline at that point. Now the last thing I want to show you is everything in setup mode on the screen. So here is where you can set up your operators. If, you're, uh, if your checkbox is set up in here to actually set up the users, if your box is checked on that user, that means that they're basically an administrator. You have also the choice to give them the option to open and close the site, to change the price, user presets, whether if that's dollar or quantity limits, and be able to adjust that, and whether if their uh, login is either valid or invalid. Allowed pumps, this is where you can set up your authorized pumps. So if I wanted um, these two pumps enabled, I can go ahead and select pumps one and two to be able to be authorized from inside. Currently, uh, I have them set to not be authorized. And then I have, leaves me with pumps five, six, seven, and eight. The calling sales here is the delayed time on when you can uh, give the user enough time to go outside and switch the handle. The delay call here, we can change that to anything we want as far as in seconds. Same thing with repeat every like repeat every five seconds if you wanted, your sale repeat, and your stop count. And your pricing limits here, this is where you can adjust uh, how much you want that price to be changed. So currently we have the price set to only be changed within the 50 cent range from when it was changed. You can change that price uh, to a dollar, 75 cents, 20 cents, 10 cents, uh, at your site. This is where you would have a software update. If you had a USB thumb drive with a new update, you can go ahead and press on this and it will detect to see if a USB thumb drive is present. Then you also have an idle time. So this is how long it's going to let me log in for. It will stay on the screen and stay logged in for 45 minutes and you have the ability to either disable that feature or change how you'd want, or when you want the IAT to log a user out when they're not present.
You can save that feature. So we have that. And this is a log file that would be saved onto a USB thumb drive. You can select that and um, you can actually save any, any of the log files that are internal here and it would save it right onto a thumb drive. These are where your dollar presets are. So here you have the ability to set up some quick sets basically. So if somebody's commonly giving you $20 to fill up, you can set that on here, 25, 50, $300 and you can change that to what you want. So you can set this to 100, hit enter, and it will save the preset for number four, which I'll go back to dollar preset. Now you see that number four is set to 100. And our quantity presets, this is 20 gallons, 15 gallons, 25 gallons per transaction if you want them to have a quantity preset. So if somebody wants to go, hey, I want to fill up 15 gallons, you just set it for 15, and you let them authorize the pump for 15 gallons. You're authorizing them to do that. So at your site, um, fit number one currently is set to offline. Um, but uh, the fuel island terminals are set um, once when they're blue and they're in normal state. That means that they are online. Okay, somebody wants to use pump number six, so we're going to go ahead and um, he gives me 20 bucks. He wants me to turn on pump number six for him, so I'll go ahead and I'll authorize the pump six to give him fuel. Now that that lift handle is lifted, he'll be able to go outside and go with fuel. Once he's filling up, after one gallon that is dispensed, it will show the drip icon underneath the nozzle of pump six. And once the sale has closed, a dollar sign will show up. So there's your icon that it's currently fueling. I'm going to go ahead and lift or and have him close the handle. And then you're going to see that dollar sign show up on that pump. It will also alert you, giving you the notification that there is a sale. So you can go ahead and select that pump. It says, would you like to go ahead and close the sale? You can say yes. And we're back to square one. You can go back to your previous transactions. And now you can actually see that pump number six fueled up at this time with this fuel type, this amount, 1.5 gallons at a price of $1.50, which is a total of $2.34. And then you have the option to print that receipt. And that concludes our presentation on the indoor authorization terminal.